This anime has moved into my top three of anime I'm currently watching of this anime season. Knights of Sidonia. This is a very, very good series. It's definitely not for everyone. I know for a fact it's not. But in my opinion, for my personal value and enjoyment I have gotten from these couple of episodes is enjoyable. It's a really good series. It has a lot of mystery, a lot of dark tones. Probably one of the darkest anime of this anime season. I'm not talking about just violence and gore like we have, you know, Brynhildr in the darkness, but this anime shows you human life in a different light. It also shows you how humanity is, like, running through space from these creatures that they don't have no idea where they came from and are devouring, I guess, you know, humans. Now, I guess this actually kind of sounds like Attack on Time more I think about it, so it's kind of not original, but still, it's very very badass. Let me explain why. When they use the actual CGI, this entire anime is pretty much CGI right there. That's unique. Not a lot of anime tend to do CGI fully besides Arpeggio or Kingdom. So I, I respect anime. I try to go out of the bounds of regular animation and try to go into CGI. That's one thing that I guess Knights of Sidonia gets a plus one in my book. But that's not the entire reason why I would recommend this series because CGI definitely would take some time getting used to for anyone that is new into anime or even old watchers of anime. So let's talk about this episode. Why is it giving me so much enjoyment? value that I want to know more, I want to continue on with this series, and why I would recommend it to everybody. For one thing, it's very gritty and dark. It actually has a realistic, uh, I guess, aspect on human life at the same time it doesn't. We see that humans have been genetically engineered to be able to have photosynthesis. I did not mention this last episode because there really was not much information about it, but my theory on Tani Kaze from last episode was correct. He is a straight out, pure, 100% human. He has to thrive off of food and he does not have photosynthesis like all these other human beings have. So he's unique. He's a different type of character. So we have a protagonist that is unique. Now, one thing though is, it, what's interesting is I want to know more about why these Ghana are attacking humans. Why are they forcing them to the level of almost extinction? This may be a very generic plot. We may have another anime that's currently airing this anime season that has the same exact, I guess, aspect with the underlying plot, Black Bullet. But I feel like the way Nazi Sidonia does it, it's just, it's so interesting, especially with the actual atmosphere and setting of the space. I mean, seeing this like floating spaceship fortress on like a boulder called Sidonia is really cool. I love it. I love the way this series is perceived to the entire audience and the music. Oh my fucking god, the music. The opening, the ending. My favorite opening and ending of this anime season. My opinion, that, that they're awesome. Awesome freaking songs. It really just suits the vibe of this series. You know, honestly, this is this series alone is causing my love for mech anime to increase. And as you all know, I'm not a big fan of mech. I'm not. But w watching Knights of Sidonia, knowing it's a mech anime, and it's giving me this much enjoyment, and I am really loving this series, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. I I'll say I like the actual character interactions, even though right now our main male character, we don't technically know much about him. He really hasn't had a lot of development along with all of our other characters. Just, I like the aspect of knowing that he's a regular human, and supposedly he's not been genetically engineered. How come he is not genetically engineered? What makes him so different from everybody else? And exactly how did he actually not succumb to genetic engineering? That's the big question right there. Also, yes, I made a theory last episode about the actual grandfather or the father of Tani Kaze that most likely his was the original pilot of the actual mech. So, most likely I'm correct. I am, because his grandfather beat it into his mind to actually play those simulators over and over to get good at that certain model of mech. So, I like that. I really do. Now, one thing, though... I I will say, this series is very enjoyable. It has a lot of aspects about it that is just very different. I don't normally get these type of vibes from anime. It is definitely, like I said, it's that original, I guess, when it comes to terms of plot setup. But I love the actual different aspects that it brings into the story with the characters and everything that just really work well. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a sucker for anime. I try to go out of the normal bounds with CGI. Maybe it's because I like these type of characters. Maybe it's because I love the entire setup or humanity's forced to extinction. Either way, all the different elements are linked together to mesh into a very badass anime. So tell me your thoughts in this episode of Knights of Sidonia. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Do you feel like this series can be in your possible top three? If it's not, don't worry. I know for a fact this anime is not for everybody, but let me know exactly, do you think this series is excellent? Do you think it's going to evolve into something very badass? And if you don't like it, also let me know in the comments below why you don't like it, and tell me also your top three of this anime season. So everybody, I love you so much. Please be safe, everybody. Chibi out.